Good morning, everybody. Um, I know it's Monday and this is a pre-recorded one, but I am currently, well, currently I'm sitting here pre-recording this. But for you, currently I am sitting, um, d going through a residence in ministry um, session with uh, other ministers from the uh, area. So, uh, without further ado... <laughs> Uh, this is for Monday, November 16th, and I'm again reading from the Daily Guidepost devotional. Buy the truth and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Proverbs 23, 23. The man sitting in my office was, simply put, obnoxious. He knew it ha he had it all. He was certain that it would always be so. I was digging for an extra measure of patience when Matt Wigington popped into my head. For a moment, I was 15 and back in his living room. He was about 80 and the most successful business person I knew. I had chosen him as my mentor. He'd kindly obliged. Had I been Catholic rather than Presbyterian, spending time with him would have been like having an audience with the Pope. With all the surety of a teen, I asked, What's the secret to your success? Mr. Wigington said, Love people and try to understand them. His words reverberated through, throughout the years. I looked at the man seated opposite me and tried to channel Mr. Wigington's spirit. My client was bragging about his wealth and describing his jet-setting lifestyle. I knew his days on top were numbered. Money dwindles. A life void of meaning grows lonely and empty. Caught in Mr. Wigington's motto, compassion was washing over my irritation. I found myself moving toward concern. What caused this man to focus on things that lead to unhappiness? Love people and try to understand them. I looked into his eyes and asked, What's your hidden talent? Uh, well, I, I, I used to paint. I thought I might be a, a painter. Now that is interesting, I answered. Tell me about it. All about it. And he did. The invitation to his first show, two years later, had thank you scrawled across the bottom. Mr. Wigington was surely smiling. It can be easy sometimes for us to write people off as dumb or ignorant or that crazy person. I know I've probably been written off as a crazy person many times myself. But to do that reduces them and tries to put them in a box. People are not so one-dimensional as that. Try to reach through to find the depth. And yes, there are people who might be very grating on our personalities, that our personality types just don't quite gel with and we just want to... Ah! But they are people, nonetheless. Created in the image of God, just as you are just as I am. It is not easy. It can be difficult. But sometimes we have to try to find that extra dimension, that hidden talent, that lustful dream, that wistful, not lustful, <laughs> um, that path not taken sometimes. Something to see them in a different light and to understand them better. You'd be amazed how wonderful it is to work with them that way. So the next time someone is frustrating you and you think they're full of themselves or you think they're stupid or you think they're crazy, Try to see them as a person, maybe a person you disagree with, but a person. That is how the church functions. Trust me, if you've been to annual conference, you know, church does not always agree and it can get sometimes downright ugly. But for the church to function, we have to see each other as children of God, as other members of the family of Christ, 
cleansed by his blood. That is the foundation of who we are as Christians. So, I realize this is a little short one, but sometimes <laughs> these are short and to the point. <laughs> Let us pray. Holy and loving God, help us to recognize that all people we meet are created in your image. All people we meet are cleansed by the blood of Christ. All have sacred worth. Help us to avoid simply writing them off, simply ignoring them, avoiding them. Help us to find that common ground, to find who they are, and to work with them to bring about a more loving, compassionate relationship. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Well, uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll be back up and live. Um, I don't believe I don't believe I have anything on my schedule for Tuesday, so we should be able to do this live. If not, it'll be pre-recorded as always. But um, hopefully, hopefully I'm I'm saying this on Thursday. Hopefully I did see you on Sunday. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.